Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your January 2017 general tarot forecast. This is Sky, and I'm here to give you guys, hopefully, another amazing reading for your month ahead. Oh, we're detaching from the 2016 energy, and we're moving into 2017, and I think that everyone is kind of breathing a um, synchronized sigh of relief, because 2016, for so many people that I've known, has just been so chaotic and so... Um, kind of a gross year to be honest maybe it's been really great for some of you guys out there comment below if it has but um a lot of people that i've known are just ready for it to be over and ready to kind of set their energies new and you know don't be too hard on yourself about resolutions and stuff you know the march to april time period is going to be better for that anyway um but it's definitely good to get an idea about what you want to accomplish and all of that but and wow, like these energies coming forward for Aquarius, it's pretty cool. All these court cards, you've got the Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. That's like the most court cards I ever see in um, a reading like this. So you guys have a lot of outward influences right now. A lot of people relying on you. A lot of people um, kind of in your ear about things and you know, you're trying to balance everything. You're trying to balance yourself. You're trying to get to know yourself better, and it might be kind of influencing um, negatively, or you feel that all the chatter is kind of negatively influencing connections with yourself. That's kind of hitting the tip of the iceberg. Um, and you're tired of something. You're trying to transcend something, and we're going to get all into it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's coming for each week of for you guys. So in the first week, you've got the Page of Wands over the Queen of Swords, and this could be like two people in your life that do not agree about something, or if it's not people, there's you have like two ideas coming from, like you have a reasonable idea and a creative idea, and they're both kind of still in your mind, and they're coming from the last year. There's like a creative project you've taken on with the Page of Wands um, that has so much potential and so much creative energy invested into it and there are so many new ideas that you're having relating to that but it's like it's still not culminated in the way you've wanted it to it still feels like it's not enough and there's like this logical realistic side of you who shadows that who um says okay this is too creative this is too fun it's not reasonable enough it's not um structured enough it's not um, realistic. You just need to work a day job and you don't need these goals. And you, you're kind of having a battle within yourself. If these aren't people that are actually telling you this, you're having a battle within yourself about like what you want to devote your energy to, what you want your life to be about. And, you know, all I can, I can just see from this reading that you guys really need to step into the phase of like the high priestess, which hasn't popped up in your reading and I'm surprised. It's kind of substituted temperance, I think, which is a good similarity there but you guys need to really work on the relationship with yourself for sure but let's move on and we'll get more into that when we wrap up the video um in your second week you're moving into the energy of the page of cups reversed rooted down by the ace of pentacles there's potentially a water sign in your life who's kind of fallen out of favor in your eyes um you might have liked this person at first but then you had like second thoughts or something um this could also be the emotionally active, um, hard on your sleeve side of your personality, Aquarius, that you aren't approving of, that you feel like is not getting you places. Maybe you feel that you've been over emotional about certain things in your life and you're trying to kind of pull that in. You're trying to control that a little bit more and it might not be working out for you. You're you, you've got to get in touch with yourself. There's there's something off balance within yourself if you feel that lack of energy, okay? And that's rooted down by the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be rooted in financial issues. This could be rooted in the way that you make money. It does say that there's a gift of money coming for you, though, whether this be from somebody or whether you make more money in your job or you get, like, a really good sale or something. The universe is gifting you some kind of financial... Um, help this month is in the second week of January and this is to prove to you Aquarius that you know the amount of money that you have doesn't affect what you come back to within yourself like the philosophy and 
um, attitude that you have towards life is not dictated by money. There may have been some Aquarians out there who kind of let money dictate their authenticity or their worth as a person. And when you get this money in January or throughout 2017, you start to realize that you're the same person no matter what. Money doesn't change that. And it could be kind of a rude awakening for some of the Aquarians out there. Like you might have really expected the money to change your happiness level. But it could also be a sigh of relief for some of you because you realize that, you know, maybe money doesn't really affect who I'm as a person. And, you know, Aquarians are always different and stuff. So you guys don't tend to be so materialistic that way anyway. But the third week, I think, is going to be the most noticeable week of January. You've got Temperance reversed, rooted down by the Knight of Swords reversed. There could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male in your life that this could be from the past. It could be a past relationship that really made you feel unbalanced within yourself. Um, you kind of lost a flow of energy. You guys, ugh, I don't know. There's something about this air sign that I don't think they're good for you, potentially, if you're like dating. or A lot of Aquarians could be dating right now. You guys have so many choices. You guys are kind of playing the field, it looks like. And there might even be people out there who are kind of competitive over you. So for the single Aquarians, there's just like so many options. And it might be overwhelming you, and you just kind of want to step back from it. Okay. Likewise... You've just got so many people relying on you. You've got so many people, like I said, in your ear about things. And like a funny story, I'd actually come into contact with an Aquarian the other day. And um, I liked this person. They were really nice. Um, and But like they never like got back to me or anything. And I'm like, oh, what was it about me that they didn't like? And I now realize, thanks to the tarot, that they're just dealing with so much other stuff and it's not really anything personal. Um... So thank you, Tarot, for making me realize this about the Aquarius. But I just love Aquarius people. They're so different. They're so... Um, I don't know many Aquarians in my life. I don't have a lot of really close Aquarians. But um, I, I've known some of them at a more casual level. And I just... I think they're so whimsical. I think they're so fun to be around. And they just have a good vibe. And with Uranus being an Aries right now, that kind of making that sextile to your uh, Aquarius sun or moon or rising or whatever you're watching this video for you know you just have so many different people different things different experiences just all coming together to create kind of a kaleidoscope of um just different experiences for you so i can't really predict anything solid for you aquarius people because it's so undecided like your fate and your um energetic signature is so undecided right now aquarius um and a lot of tarot readers, and kind of including myself, feel a little bit intimidated when all, when so many court cards come up, but just because they always seem like um, supporting energies more so than like front and center energies to me. I mean, it's not something that bothers me as a reader, but it just says to me that you guys are so busy and so... <clears throat> um, concerned with other people right now, concerned with other foreign energies, entities, what have you. And there might actually be a need in some Aquarius to detach a little bit. And you guys are so good at that anyway. I think Aquarius <clears throat> detach from difficult emotional situations better than any other zodiac sign if they really um, look in and access that power. You guys have that power for sure if you at least um, hone in on it. Um, but that might be what is needed from you right now, Aquarius, is to detach a little bit from the needs of other people, from other people's demands. That's going to be really helpful right now. Um, and looking within and seeing what within you isn't functioning right, you know, if you're, if, if you as a person, like, energetically are not having, like, a really strong system and a strong ability to process your own experiences and energies then it's going to be really hard if you have all these other people relying on you for that as well it's like maybe you've really come off as a very balanced like successful person so you have all of these people around you who um are looking to you to help establish that within them and that's like taking that precious energy that you need away from you so it might just be time to really um go within and you know, establish to the people in your life that you need to take some time, you know, and, or at least maybe cut back a little bit, like on how social you are, um, 
if it feels inconvenient, like don't do it type of thing. But do make that clear to people. Sometimes Aquarius and like the Aquarius Leo uh, 180 degree angle in astrology, you guys can kind of just disappear on people sometimes. You can kind of just fall off the face of the earth and people that can worry people, especially like your Cancer, like Scorpio, um, Taurus type of um, friends or social people. So do tell people, tell people, I'm just kind of going through a different kind of change and I just needed a bit of time and solitude and if they respect your person Aquarius they will um, respect that for sure but do that okay because the fourth week sees you feeling kind of drained potentially you've got the nine of wands reversed rooted down by the knight of cups um, more so than another person I'm feeling that this knight of cups is going to be like you not wearing your heart on your sleeve like not being emotionally open to people or available and because as kind of a defense mechanism because you just don't know where your um like your energy lies you don't know where it is and you're in the middle of something you're like accomplishing something too with the nine of wands like you're almost there and you're feeling the tiredness of it all and you just need to commit to that rather than all these other people. So you might just be, again, detaching and, you know, seeing what you need from the universe. And January could also be a period of reflection as well. You know, having all these court cards in your reading, I kind of want to take this from a different perspective than I usually would. And um, so all the ones that you have reversed are Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Cups. So I kind of want to go through some of the general energies of those cards and you can kind of see if that resonates with either people that have been in your life or aspects of your personality. So with the Queen of Swords reversed, sometimes you get a person who's very harsh to the emotional environment of a situation. Like, how do I want to say it? This person has been through a lot of emotional pain in their own experience so they've really detached from it like this is an air quality like an air sign type of in gemini aquarius or libra they've detached from emotional pains in their life therefore they're very apathetic to others and they don't assume other people's emotional environment so they tend to have expectations and they want their own emotional environment to be catered to because of all the pain they've been through but they don't cater to other people's emotional environment when it's reversed like, this person can be really harsh. This person can be kind of an attitude of, you just need to get over yourself. You're just being too sensitive about things. You're being, like, you wouldn't treat other people nicely if they were going through this. And there is an aspect of the Queen of Swords reversed that likes to see other people in pain because it makes their experience more normal. Like, because the Queen of Swords in reversed has been through like the utmost amount of pain so in emotionally so when she sees other people going through pain she instead of choosing to help she in her amazing like logical and communicative way like makes clear the painful aspects of everything and makes the other person very aware of pain just to see their reaction and to like because they want to normalize pain. So in order to normalize pain, they want to see it in other people's experiences. So they'll kind of pull it out of people. You need to detach from people like that, Aquarius. You need to, um, like the type of people who come around and talk about, who are very pessimistic, who talk about all of the bad things happening, who want to hear the bad things that have happened to you and kind of wallow in it. Or it's there, there's a strange correlation because the queen of swords doesn't really want to wallow in emotional problems per se in fact she can have an attitude that's like why are you so sensitive like i said why are you so sensitive don't be so sensitive to this your emotions make you look stupid and weak type of thing so and if you have if, that, if that's a voice within you aquarius because again the court cards are either people from the outside or like aspects of the personality if that's a voice within you aquarius maybe you do need to go with it and make more of a balanced voice like allow yourself to experience your own experience okay and the knight of swords reverse is a very similar energy except it's more like blunt and sarcastic and overbearing there's something very overbearing about the knight of swords reversed like this person wants people to feel the way they want them to feel they aren't very good with um 
it's kind of a control freak. The Knight of Swords reversed is kind of a control freak. Someone who is overbearing in what they want from other people, and they will always seek out what they want from other people. So this can be kind of a user type, like someone who uses other people, kind of a con artist type. So some Aquarians may have attracted kind of a con artist type into their experience. So be watching out for that, okay? The Knight of Cups reversed is that manipulative water sign type, like the person who seems so nice and is understanding. It's very, very much the opposite of the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Like the Queen of Swords will hold you responsible for the way that you feel and make sure that, that you know that it's not okay. Whereas the Knight of Cups will like really coddle you and be like, oh yes, it's okay to feel the way that you feel about this, Aquarius. And then they will potentially like use your feelings against you, you know? And, you know, the, the whole point of this Aquarius is to recognize, like, the types of people that are in your life, the types of energies that might be coming around you, and to be able to know when to draw a line, you know, when to kind of create boundaries. Okay, because there might be some boundaries that need to be established with the Nine of Wands reversed. Um, you, you see in the Nine of Wands reversed, which is the top, the card in the top right corner, there's kind of like um, a wall of wands, basically, and that's kind of an archaic drawing, but maybe that's what you need to create with all these people who are just coming into your experience. Because I do think that the Page of Wands and Page of Cups energies are good <clears throat> that you have on the top row. It's like a rebirth. It's like letting your creative process really take on some new um, ideas, like really letting yourself establish new projects, new creative ideas, whereas the Page of Cups is about getting more in touch with your emotional side, allowing yourself to wear your heart on your sleeve, and really attracting the type of people that you can. Maybe you don't feel like you've attracted the type of people that you can wear your heart on your sleeve with, and you want to change that. You want to really kind of create a group of people that are allies for you that are on your side because the nine the nine in tarot like the nine of wands is also about allies it's also about having people to be there for you when you don't feel that you have enough strength to um, follow through on all of your commitments in life so that's something that you're wanting and I think towards the end of January you're going to get closer to establishing that you know completely honestly being completely honest, Aquarius, your reading is just on a vibe that the other readings are not. Like, a lot of the other signs are really going through, like, a catastrophic period of time, and it's been kind of, like, my energy has shifted towards that, but that's not where you guys are at. And if that doesn't resonate with you, Aquarius, like, make sure you're watching your rising and moon sign. You know, if you have some Leo in your chart, Aquarius, like, go over and watch Leo's video, because the Leos are having a time of it, so you might resonate more with that. But it's kind of mundane for Aquarius in um, January, okay? Because there's just like, it's a matter of getting to yourself, establishing a balance within yourself, and separating that from all the outside chatter, from all the other people who have expectations of you. It's kind of a complicated energy, for sure, because it's so simple. <laughs> and, you know, money, boundaries the balance within yourself and having endurance to follow through on projects that you set out that's going to be the theme in January and I really can't be more specific that's really getting to the juxt of it all so I hope that this reading has resonated for you guys if you really liked it again be sure to check out your moon and rising sign you can always subscribe to my channel if you haven't I so so appreciate it and you can always book a reading with me, and you can see those details in the description box below. I so appreciate all my new subscribers and likes and comments, and I hope that your January is really great. Um, have a good January, Aquarius. I will be talking to you in February.